16 on. It's not a bad effort by the um, under 18s, Raiders. Going in, Catherine. Great effort. That's yeah. okay. Do an intro. All right. <laughs> I think he just said he, <laughs> no, we've got to do another intro. Oh, another intro. Yeah. All righty, here we go. Uh, fabulous to have your company on Saturday night football here in the NT, thanks to Chemist Warehouse. Tonight, it is the third place, Darwin Brothers and the Northern Sharks in second place, vying for two competition points. A big crowd coming in, and without further ado, Duncan McVilgray joins me in the commentary box. A big night ahead, mate. It is, mate. Two teams that are going quite well so far this year. Uh, some really good players running around. Looking forward to seeing them. Is that all right? Mm. You'd be thinking I'm old bossy boots, but I'm not. I'm just, just, just on. Is that all right? OK. Yeah. What's that? Yep. On the screen. Oh. Oh, are we? Yeah, all right. So, 6.55. Tonight's main match between the Brothers and the Sharks brought to you by the Northern Territory Government. McDonald's, 9 News, Mix 104.9, Hot 100, Good Games, ISC, Tabasco, Physio North, Hutchinson's Builders, Seda College, Powering, I Sponsor, Mont Franklin Water, Forex Gold, Quitline, Scientec, Elastoplast, and Chemist Warehouse. I'd like to remind everyone to please be respectful as we go through the game. 
that will be starting at 7 p.m. We're putting toys made from renewable or recycled materials in Happy Meals by 2023. On it. I'll have what she's having. Changing for the better? We're on it. Quick, <laughs> Here at Mackers, our team are always... Hey, can I get a cheeseburger meal, please? And nuggets and fries. What's the word? On it. Like putting toys made from renewable or recycled materials in Happy Meals by 2023. On it. She's Working on all customer packaging being made from renewable or recycled materials. The whole kit and caboodle. Changing for the better, we're on it. Yes, good evening everybody on NRL.com and welcome to the top end. We are tonight at TRL Stadium in Darwin for the second place clash between the Northern Sharks going around against the Darwin Brothers. A big crowd coming in. I'll tell you what, this ground on this, the grandstand on this side is pretty much at 50 to 60 percent capacity. So we're going to be in for one hell of a night here and in Darwin. As always, joining me in the commentary box tonight, Duncan McGilbray. Dunk, a big crowd coming through the turnstiles. Good evening to you. Yeah, mate. Thanks for having me again. Uh, Darwin people have got behind this game, and why wouldn't they? You've got uh, a, a last year's grand finalists and a, and a grand final winner the year before, plus we've got brothers who are always exciting, a young team with a great coach, Leon Cleo. And down on the sideline tonight, it's a first for the NRL NT. The warm welcome to Merg McKayley. And Merg, what's the touchline conditions tonight here in Steamy Darwin like? G'day, guys. I think it's about 29 to 30 degrees at the moment, but fairly humid. Um, can, the ground conditions look really good for a fast open game between these two teams and really looking forward to it. Duncan, who do you like tonight, mate? Uh, the, you know, the Sharks uh, had, a, had a loss last week, so I'm sure they'll be, um, you know, up for a good, a good performance this week on the back of that. And Brothers are slightly build, building momentum. I don't, I'm not sure they've lost the game just yet, but they've, you know, as I said, they're a young team and uh, they're really enthusiastic and they've got plenty to put on show. So, uh, look, I'm, it's, it's going to be a tough one, but I, I reckon that um, brothers, brothers will come through tonight. OK. Well, wherever you are, right across Australia, welcome to NRL.com. Of course, our official partners, Chemist Warehouse, ISC and iSponsor doing great things. And, of course, along with the Northern Territory Government, we're just awaiting now for the, for the referee tonight in, in Graham Venderberg. And we're almost set. Saturday night football under lights. Duncan, does it get much better than this in the top end? I don't think so. It doesn't, mate. What would you be doing on a Saturday night outside of watching a bit of footy locally? It's, uh, we've got a great product up here, and, uh, you know, we probably underachieve at times, but uh, what we've got on show tonight we should be a really good clash. So all is in readiness. This is round four. Saturday night footy, live and exclusive right here on NRL.com. It'll be the Northern Sharks running from right to left on your screen. Ryan Venderberg is waiting for the the signal from our 
live streaming company. And we're almost there. It's been a big build-up to this clash. Of course, brothers have averaged 34 points per game. And they've only conceded 13 points coming into this game. While the Sharks, 31 points on attack and conceded 10. So not much separating both of these sides. In round one, of course, brothers went down to Litchfield 20 to 16. They bounced back in round two and third in round three with wins over Palmerston and the Rabbitohs. Well for the Sharks. Round one and round two, knocking over Palmerston and Nightcliff. And going down to Litchfield in round three of the competition by 16 points to 14. So we stand there by now for the kickoff. The lights are on, the crowd's in, the atmosphere here over here on the western side of the field where our broadcast position is. Everybody is in readiness to get this underway. And there it is, there's the kickoff. Round four of the Chemist Warehouse competition and it goes down to Nicky and there's a mistake dunk from the from the get-go here yeah, 10 metres out from their own goal line not a great start mate a knock on there from Caleb do what you want Nicky unfortunately uh, it's not the start they wanted I'm sure they'll bounce back from this but uh, yeah they're still fresh so let's see here we go so that's where our pitchers take us right in the middle of the field so what a chance now for the for the Northern Sharks. The ball goes in. Out it comes. Here's Burke. Sigiaro with the footy. Great tackle over the top there. Coming from, uh, from Nicky. So first set of six. Ten metres out from uh, the opposition's goal line. What a start to Chemist Warehouse. Saturday night football in the top end. Here's Kennett. Dishes it up to the right. Versey with the ball, plays solid minutes, doesn't he? Over 200 games in the Premiership. So they're attacking now. They're about to cross, are they? No, drop down about a metre or so out from the goal line. Great defence so far by Brothers. They go from dummy half. Here's Kennedy. He's been pushed back. Great defence over the top there by Kerniff. So what's their play now? They're going to run the ball and attack now through Burke. He's on his back, about 10 metres out. Still an opportunity here for the Sharks. They work it again to the right. Offloading at will. Sigiaro throws the dummy. He squats him off like flies, and he's going to be tackled here. But it's going to be a changeover. Dunk two metres out from the brothers' goal line. No, they did well, brothers, to defend that. They, uh, the Sharks threw a fair bit at them, but they defended really well. So they've done, uh, done extremely good to get the ball back. We Let's see Caleb do what you want. Nicky having a solid run. He's got to make up for that mistake. Let's go touchline, Merg. What a cracking opening set of six for the brothers. Yeah, I saw the brothers bench, and um, um, Coach Clear wasn't real happy with that start from uh, Do What You Want, Nicky. Um, but he, they made up with a great defensive effort there. So the Darwin brothers, as I mentioned, third place on the competition ladder. Four points, one, two, lost one. As they look to create a little bit of havoc through the middle corridor, they run straight there into Kennett and also over the top was Big Cameron. They're going to kick from inside the 40. This kick is a towering kick. Well diffused over there by Zaro. Very fast. Nothing phases him. A try scoring machine as well in the competition. Look out for him today. He can leave a lot of smoke behind. Here's his shuttle now. He tries to take a little bit of pressure off the forwards. Great run up towards the halfway line. Put away by by Coombs. So three minutes gone here. Saturday night football in the Chemist Warehouse. Scoreboard. Still searching for first points of the contest. Back to Hall. Can he offload? He does. They're keeping it alive. They love a little bit of razzle and the dazzle. Taken here in the centre of the field. 30 metres out from the goal line. Good start to this one. Good energy. He shuts down. Very strong fan, we know that. He's also a good defender. Runs a great line as well. So it's the last tackle. Back for Burke. They're going to keep it alive, but that ball's going to go over the sideline. 
Well, Duncan, they had the right idea. Execution let them down. Yeah, mate, I'm not sure if the long ball was on then, to be honest. But um, just on Shettle, he probably goes against the grain of your traditional winger. He's, you know, six foot three and uh, 110 kilos. It's very, very effective winger. Um, yeah, but I'm not sure that was the right option. But, uh, yeah, they're certainly capitalising, that's for sure. Berg, as we go down to the touchline to you, mate, there's a lot of talk out there from both sides early on. Yeah, it's a good clash so far. That last play was on, though, Dunk. I can tell you now, I was just close to that play, and um, I think Chettle's positioning wasn't really well, but the long ball by Burke was on. Yeah, I disagree, mate. Uh, don't you love a little bit of rivalry in the commentary box? That's what it's all about. NRL NT, the banner. Hope you're enjoying this so far, folks. Right across Australia on NRL.com. And don't forget, you can stay up to date with all things rugby league in the territory by nrlnt.com.au. Check us out on Facebook and also Instagram as well. So that's where the brothers are. They're about to cross the halfway line here. Back to Tobin. Three men in the tackle. Sneedham was one of them. The crowd, as you can hear, very vocal. Getting behind brothers here. This is Coombs. He crosses the halfway line. So first opportunity over the halfway line, but it is the last tackle. And Kernoff, the captain, puts in that towering kick to the applause. And Sigiaro, gee, always safe as the bank, isn't he? Duncan under those high balls at the back. He is, mate. He comes from good stock, uh, Sigiaro. He's solid every week. He really takes ownership for the fullback position for the Sharks. And I'm sure you'll see a lot more of him come tonight. They're trying to get outside their own red zone. They've, they've achieved that. Morris Missop always gets the job done. This is the center three quarter in the captain of understanding, Lockie Wright. Classy center. We know he can whack in D, that's for sure. Look out for that today as they look to come to the halfway line. Crawling their way here through Peter Costello. Back to Kennett. He decides to kick it downfield. Here's Amori, in off the wing. He beat one, but he can't get away there. From Adam Hall, they shove him back down here. Let's go down to the touchline. Uh, don't you love a little bit of aggression on Saturday night football? We love that, mate. We love it. Uh, the arm wrestles firmly on between these two teams. It's kick to kick and set to set at the moment, so the, the crowd's really excited. That's absolutely deafening tonight. We're at TRL Stadium. The word's out. Why not? Great rugby league up here in the top end. So back away now for Caleb Mickey. So you just sense here that the pendulum might be coming the way of brothers here. Certainly getting good field territory. Take it down here right on the right on the 40. It's the fifth and it's the last. They're going to go high into the air again. The chases are coming through. But Sigiaro, he says, you can put whatever you want towards me. I'm not going to let my side down 10 metres out, Duncan, from his own goal line. Yeah, mate, he did well to take that. Uh, the uh, kick pressure from brothers has been fantastic as well. You know, their kicks have been really well supported by a good, strong chase. He's right. Takes the play into the middle of the field here. If you've ever been to Darwin, you'd know that this precinct is absolutely first class. Up there with any state and territory, rugby league grounds right across Australia. Back to the last kick. They're going to keep this one low. Looking for the touch line, and they find the touch right in front of our sideline eye tonight. Merck, 30 metres out from the brothers' goal line. Yeah, mate, our Sharks have just made their first interchange. Uh, David... Munro's just come on. Not sure who came off there. Number 13 for Sharks. But Doug, as I come back to you, mate, I, th I guess for the Sharks, they're a big side, aren't they? And they use they, you know, they, they do use their momentum well, don't they? They do, mate. They are a big side. And you just have, have to look at uh, Shettle and Hall, two big units. But you've also got a bit of uh, experience there. You've got uh, Jacob McCarthy. He's played some junior reps in, uh, in Cairns. And uh, Dave Munro, who's actually played Queensland Cup. So you do have a lot of experience, but unfortunately, you see a turnover from brothers. It's been a, a brilliant con 
Sutton test so fast. We're still looking for first points. Just checking out our new chemist warehouse weather wall. Sitting on about 31 degrees right now. Humidity's not too high, I guess, because we're in the dry season, aren't we? Yeah, it's still a little bit, still a little bit humid, though. It's sitting at around about 49% at the moment. Uh, Coach Crusher, Kiel, Cleal for uh, Brothers there wasn't happy with that uh, return, return by Brothers, and you can see what Sharks can do now with it in, in attack 20 out. Doesn't hide his emotions very well, uh, Crusher, Cleal, does he? He's, he's, a, he's an emotional type of coach. Very animated, Duncan. So this is Kennett, switches it back to Burke. Here's Hayden Schutz, one of the youngsters of the side. Strong fan, we know that. Great defender, there's the lost ball, they've turned it over. Cheap ball back to the brothers here, 20 metres out from their own goal line. Sponsors in Chemist Warehouse and, and Maccas on the Maccas scoreboard. Well, we're still searching for, for opening points. Both sides have had their fair share of opportunity. We're live tonight on NRL.com from the top end. Here's a penalty. Not back to 10 metres here, so brothers. I look to shoot this in the touch. And if all goes well, they should find the touchline up around halfway. A good kick. They'll start their tackle count here. Inside Sharks territory. So there's Northam. Kurnoff, he's the X factor, isn't he? Big and bruising. Steers the troops around the park quite nicely. That's where we are, right on the halfway line. Here's Laban, just a strong worker. He never stops. Taken down there by Burke. Here's Armat. Takes it down towards the 40 metre line. So Warren will go to dummy half, did well. Switches it out the back door. Jennings offloads, they're keeping it alive. That's Pollard. Nice tackle over the top. Needed to be made, and it was. Play now kicked in towards the end goal area, but this ball might trickle in the touch. It does there, Duncan, about two metres out from the goal line of the Northern Sharks. That was a good set, mate. Kurnoff really took ownership there, and also yeah. kicking the corner. Good chase again on that left edge. Uh, some really strong ca uh, carries. Cairo Ahmed up the middle. He had a trial with the um, Melbourne Storm Jersey Fleet team at the start of the year, so he's off to a good start. So that's where we are, right on the 20 metre line here, Chemist Warehouse, Saturday night football. Right at TRL Stadium. Our pitches thanks to NRL.com and NRL NT, doing great things up this part of the world. The development system in full swing, just like this man, Sigiaro. One of the characters of the game. The fans come to love him. Good kick needed. Goes away there from, from Nicky. Well, the intention was to put it between the fullback and the winger. But Nicky. Great finish in our game. Loves making easy metres from the back. The live wire. Creates great chat from the back as well. And Maury here, just clutching there. Duncan to his right. His right knee. We've got time off here. Yeah, I didn't see what quite happened there, mate, but it doesn't look good holding his knee there. But just, they're, they're really keeping the pressure on uh, the Sharks. A good line movement, some really solid contacts there. So they're really defending well. Berg, how was your view from the touchline? Yeah, it's just an um, injury cop just in a tackle. I don't think there was much in it. Sharks have made another rotation in their middle forwards with uh, Steve Cameron Versti. Being interchange and uh, 26 has just come on for the Sharks. Not sure who that is, but he's a big boy. He's a big unit. What can you hear coming from the bench there at, at Brothers from uh, Coach Crusher Cleal? He got up on his feet then, but he's got straight back down. And he put his hands in his head. He's still got his hands in his head, so I'm not sure what he actually said, Dunk. But I'll um, try and get a report for you. A good 
stuff, mate, down on the touchline, of course, thanks to Chemist Warehouse. And we're still searching for opening points here on the, on the McDonald's scoreboard. 14 minutes gone. We're tied up in a Saturday night beauty. You can play Sharks, of course, four points, one, two, lost one. And the Sharks, they defeated Palmer's 22 to four in round one. Over Ninecliffe by a lengthy margin of 48 points in round two, going down to Litchfield 16 to 14 only last weekend. And of course, that's around the grounds thanks to our ice sponsor. Doing great things here in the top end. Can't thank all of our broadcast partners enough. Back for the kick. Another testing catch here. But the best make it look easy, don't they? Now that just wasn't a catch. That was a bit of a step toe over the top as well. What can he do? Incredible stuff here in the NRL NT. Look at this driving defence as well. Coming over the top there from Daniel Warren under the rib cage and bang. Nice tackle by turn off in the middle corridor now they've got a penalty let's get into the touch line Merck just what the doctor ordered here for the northern sharks yes uh, it's still going into end football here so it's a really tight game at the moment but um, hopefully sharks can compose themselves now and have a bit of patience in good ball hey, what's your thoughts of the first couple of well the first 15 minutes of footy here yeah, it's very tight mate it's um, real real good arm wrestle and i think um, the first team to crack become undisciplined, can you, against the Sharks? And I guess you've got to be very good defensively with limited or, or no errors. Speaking of the Sharks, another opportunity to shine here in the football. They went for the intercept. Was that knocked down? The referee might call this back. He's going to say play on, is he? Well, they've turned it over back to the Sharks and Ziggy Aro comes away with it. 30 metres out from his own line before he's knocked down there by Grant. Wow, what a little passage there. In NRL NT footy. Oh, the crowd loving that. Watching on from the stands and loving this inspiring run here. Taken down here. Back away from Kennett. He's looking to offload at every opportunity he does. We see uh, David Munro take the field for Sharks here. He has a really good combination with Jacob McCarthy. McCarthy and uh, David Munro, as I said before, played a bit of Queensland Cup. He's really going to make a difference for the Sharks. He's a strong, strong defender, carries the ball really well, and as I said, works really well off the front rollers. And just with this stop in play, we just like to give a, a massive shout out to our junior club rugby league. It's back. And why not get back playing Unreal Footy with Real Mates? With club tackle or tag options available, there is an option for everyone. Head to rugbyleague.com to find your closest club. So that's where we are. Just a couple of metres in from touch. Over the top there, that was Nicky. Good tackle here on Nicky. Offloaded the ball, though. Don't think Mitchell Burke would be happy with that. They're able to distribute the ball back to Caleb Nicky. That's the halfway line they're about to thunder into, and they've lost the football. Picked up here now by Kennett. There's a chance to the right-hand side, searching for first points here. Here's Zaro with the footy. Great counter-attack from one end of the field to the other. Chance now for the Northern Sharks. Two in the tackle, centre of the field. They'll all here on the... McDonald's scoreboard. Oh, what a shot! That's got to be the biggest tackle in the NRL NT that we've seen in the first four rounds of football. How about that? If you ever want to see a replay, you're about to see one shortly, but let's hit with the action, the kick to the end goal area. Now, Siggy Aro might have been taken away from the footy, but the referee says it doesn't matter. We're going to have a goal line dropout. What about that shot? That was an absolute NT cruncher. It was uh, it was unbelievable. Jonas, the other Nicky, oh. Nicky, 
absolutely put him fair on his back. Wow, what a shot, thanks to the chemist warehouse. Merg, I'll tell you what, the NT's had a few earthquakes up here over the last couple of years, but that was about a 10.6 on the Richter scale. Boys, dead set, the grandstand shook from that. That was a great hit. What an absolute epic tackle. But let's stick with the play here. The goal line dropout. Goes 40 metres. So this is Zaro. Now he's wanting to get a penalty and his prayers have been answered here. So what have we got on the scoreboard before half time? We've got about 10 minutes remaining roughly. Maybe, maybe 20. So what do they do here? They're going to take the tap and put the pressure on. Will this be the set of six? The brothers break down. The way they're playing, they're going to come back away with the football here. There's a little bit of hot potato out in the middle. But wow. Now, isn't this just great footy to watch? hope you're really enjoying this on NRL.com. Right across Australia. This is NRL NT football at its finest here. Razzle dazzle, big tackles. And I'll tell you what, we're going to see some, some cracking tries, I'm pretty sure, throughout the next 60 minutes. Boys, both um, coaches are really animated down here on the sideline. Uh, the Sharks coach, PD, he was jumping up and down out of his seat then with the, with the lack of ball control there. Great job on the touchline, Merck. The chemist warehouse. Great experience in the broadcast box tonight with Duncan McGilvray as well. Doing great things up here in the Northern Territory for the game of rugby league. There's a lost ball. Referee has said play on here. And the referee, of course, is Graham Vendenberg. Up there with the top referees going around here. Is Pottle comes back away now to Hayden Schutz. So there's Kennett. There's Bradley's needed. Actually, it's his birthday today, I'm led to believe. Twenty-eight years of age. But there's a few few numbers we're just getting told from the touch line that they're a little bit different tonight as you as players have come late injuries or whatever the situation is I'll tell you what first point you're on offer here right on the right on the 10 let's see what happens here just over 18 minutes remaining in the clash in the first half of football Pressure have been applied by the Sharks here. They've had a couple of penalties. They're spending the majority of this half actually down in this uh, down in this end of the field. And uh, brothers obviously doing well, but applying a lot of pressure on themselves with all the turnovers and the and the simple errors. It's it's really making the job easy for Sharks. But I think if the Sharks can't get over soon, and they do. There you go. The first try tonight. The big bustling prop finds his way, crashing over. And I'm led to believe the try scorer is Cameron Vertu. Played over 200 games. Let's just take a look at this on the Chemist Warehouse replay. The first points has come, and it's four points to nil in favour of the Northern Sharks. He's uh, copped an injury, boys, too, after scoring this try. He's um, getting assisted from the field. It's great footwork by. Uh, Stephen Cameron Versty, but um, it looks like he's he's copped an injury. He's getting taken off the field now. Yeah. He's getting on uh, many injuries, Cameron Steve Versty. He's normally a pretty strong player. That's why he's played over a thousand games. He, he really pulls through the season unharmed. So that's uh, really unlucky for, for Steve. Yes. So the kick now. 22 metres out. Looking to make it six points to nil on the chemist warehouse scoreboard and the McDonald scoreboard. The Sikiaro. That's his mission. 
Moves in. Looks good off the boot. It's an absolute ripper. So six points to nil. Thanks to uh, McDonald's. Let's take a break and we'll come back here. But first, let's have a listen to one of our major sponsors. Quick, <laughs> Mackers. Here at Mackers, our team are always... Hey, can I get a cheeseburger meal, please? And nuggets. And fries. What's the word? On it. Like putting toys made from renewable or recycled materials in Happy Meals by 2023. On it. I'll have what she's having. Working on all customer packaging being made from renewable or recycled materials. On it. The whole kit and caboodle. Caboodle. Changing for the better, we're on it. So six points to nil. It's the Sharks with first blood here. And there is the mistake here. Right on their own 20. It's just over 15 minutes remaining in the first half of footy. Coach Killer, I've said it again. Time and time again in Darwin footy, teams that score cannot get to their kick from the resumption. You can see um, the runner Moses Wigness going off down there, Merg. Any you got any uh, feedback on what's happening between uh, him and uh, Crusher Cleal? Great relationship between those two gentlemen. Been uh, brother stores, both of them, both coaches and premiership coaches. Moses isn't running the fastest these days, but he uh, does a great job. Oh, that was unfortunate. The winger had the try line wide open with great scrambling D. And the Northern Sharks shut down that opportunity. A big game of round this live stream by the NRL.com website. So we're looking forward to having rugby league fans from all over the world watch our games every week up here from the top end. All thanks to our NRL NT media partners, NRL.com, and of course the schoolboys football in New South Wales will be live streamed in coming weeks on NRL.com as well. Queensland Rugby League school boys about to start as well. So it's an action-packed calendar. And then, of course, a state of origin not too far away. Down in Adelaide. And then we go to Brisbane and then back to Sydney. It's the fifth tackle. There goes the kick. The intention was to put it to the end goal. But it's found the background. And it's found the winger at the back. And that's Emma Marie. And he's taken the ball back here. Right on the 10-metre line. As they look to spin it through the back line. Here's Nicky. He says, get out of the way, the one. But then the whole team nearly converges. They have to bring him into the ground. Three in the tackle. This time over the top. In there was, was Burke. So that's where we are, right on the 30-metre line here. As we see a line bus made here through the middle corridor. Good tackle needed to be made, and it was. Now there's a penalty here. Let's get out of the touch line. What was that penalty for, Merck? Uh, it was holding down again, and I can see the frustration from uh, Coach um, PD Downs for Sharks. He very animated. It was a great kick, great set by Sharks, but then they give away silly penalty like that. Now they're on the back foot. So this is their moment. If good enough. So that's where we are, right on the 20. The tap's taken. And they're looking to go straight through the middle corridor. Taken down here, it's Burke. The number seven switches it back to the left again. There's a chance. Looking to straighten the ship. Uh, look how close they are, right on the goal line here. As the Sharks now, what are they going to do? In defense. Brothers, it's their time right on the goal line. They come short. Kaviri, can he get there? The referee says no. Tackle count continues. They throw the dummy. Nicky offloads it. That's a try. I think you'll find that's Anthony Ally. He has scored the try. Oh, they're dancing in the grand 
stand tonight. They've struck back. 6-4. Kick the gum, Duncan. Oh, great try. Anthony Alley pushing up in the middle there. They did have a, a good formation out in this right edge. But uh, ball carrier chose to go himself, which seemed to be the right option, and picked up Anthony pushing up in the middle. Fantastic try. Just yeah. what brothers needed. Coach Cleal sitting on the edge of his seat instead of slumping, feeling a little bit more positive. Uh, they've got themselves back into the contest. And the kick now from uh, Caleb Nicky. And now it's hot and humid here in Darwin. Just sucking in the water before he attempts to knock this one over from pretty much right in front. What's the weather wall down on the sideline, Merg? What's it showing? Still sitting around 30 degrees, guys. Uh, I've just seen uh, the front rower for Sharks, Cameron Verstig, just go down the tunnel. So it looks like... Hopefully it's not the end of his night, but he's going in for some treatment. Just seen Bradley Blanche Snedden come off too, Merg. You got anything on him? Yeah, it's his birthday today. Young uh, Bradley, Blanche as we call him. But uh, happy birthday, young Brad. I think he's about 40 today. 40-20? 20 that's what we'll call him. in front of the post a face of concentration as Nicky he converts Saturday night football thanks to the chemist warehouse we're alive and well in Darwin thanks to Maccas Here at Macca's, our team are always... Hey, can I get a cheeseburger meal, please? And nuggets. And fries. What's the word? On it. Like putting toys made from renewable or recycled materials in Happy Meals by 2023. On it. I'll have what she's having. Working on all customer packaging being made from renewable or recycled materials. On. The whole kit and caboodle. Changing for the better, we're on it. Yeah, thanks to Macca's and Merck. Everyone loves Maccas up in the top end. <laughs> Especially some of these players. <laughs> oh, mate, let's talk about Maccas. What do you love? You, you a quarter pounder sort of bloke? Uh, chocolate thick shake man and fries. Oh, love that's it. up there. Dipping them in. Get on down to your local Maccas. And Chemist Warehouse. ISC as well, our official partner as well as far as apparel goes. And sponsor as well, doing great things up here in the Northern Territory. The brothers here look to put the foot to the accelerator. That's where we are, right on the 20. Back away for Warren. Hasn't he had a wow of a game from dummy half? Causing absolute carnage around the ruck. And there he is again. Spins it to the right. It's on here on this edge if they can get some quick hands. Nicky. Cabillo, can he offload? He's trying to desperately, isn't he, to find Grant. He takes the tackle and the referee here has had change over. Ten metres out from their own goal line, the Sharks. So what an arm wrestle. Six points all. Saturday night football. Into the chemist warehouse. Falling into that tackle. Clinton. Now, gone behind here. Referee might say it's gone forward. Yeah, he's got a call here from the judge, judge as well. So the Sharks are inviting brothers, aren't they, down into their danger zone? They have, mate. They've, uh, they're slowly clawing their way back into the game, brothers here, and they're taking advantage of some, uh, some errors here from the Sharks. So the pressure has been released a bit, and now it's swung the other way. Just over seven minutes remaining in the match. The players coming from the field, a few new ones going on. So the brother's about to put it in. Looking for their second try here on Saturday night footy. That's where we are, right on the 30 metre line. Here's Pollard. He's gone straight through. What a run. Taken down here about two metres out from the goal line. It's on to the left-hand side. Here's Nicky. Can he get there? Quick 
play the ball needed. Armat with the football. Quick play the ball. Warren comes short. Kaviri. Can he get there? I think he's gone all the way. The referee's going to point to the spot. And there it is, the second try. The second try to the Darwin brothers. They've gone bang, bang, Duncan. Wow. Well, mate, we've seen a couple of injuries to the Sharks. I think it looks like they might even be down to two on the bench at this stage. So I think they're hurting a little bit. But the brothers, again, capitalising and taking advantage of the, just the simple errors that the Sharks are making. Well, take a look at this on the Chemist Warehouse replay. Too big, too strong, and just too good. What power. What determination. And what grunt. Second try leading into the break. 10-6 on the Macca scoreboard. Let's get out of the touchline. The crowd. I've been here a few times, Merck, but this crowd tonight is up there with the best we've had this year. Yeah, all the supporters are out for both uh, sides here, guys. Um, you can also confirm uh, I sponsor around the grounds earlier game tonight between uh, Litchfield Bears and Nycliffe Dragons. Litchfield Bears defeated the Dragons 50-4. It's a good win. Bears stay on top of the ladder. And just an injury update there for the Sharks. I can confirm that there's only one fresh player on the bench now, guys. Um, there's three other guys that are uh, in the change rooms now getting treatment, so hopefully they can regroup at halftime. So here's the kick. Inside the last four minutes of the first half here. Nicky. Stabs at it. It's a beauty. Straight over the dot here. Try converted. 12 points to six in favour of Brothers. <laughs> Quick, Mackers. Here at Mackers, our team are always... Hey, can I get a cheeseburger milk, please? And nuggets. And fries. What's the word? On it. Like putting toys made from renewable or recycled materials in Happy Meals by 2023. On it. She's happy. Working on all customer packaging being made from renewable or recycled materials. The whole kit caboodle. Changing for the better, we're on it. So welcome back, folks, to TRL Stadium here in Darwin. Three tries so far. And it may not be all over yet. What a great step. What a great run. The offload. It's brilliant. They're away. Down the touchline. What a great tackle. Of NRL NT football right here on NRL.com. They go from dummy half back to Warren. They're calling for the penalty and they've got it here. They've got the penalty here two metres out. Let's go touchline. That's the right call, Merck. Yeah, that's the right call. They're offside, but gee whiz, I tell you what, Sharks, uh, just the defence off the kickoff was poor. The, all the momentum going now with brothers. What about that run? Incredible. Gee, the bloke in front of me, he's got two hot chips, a hot dog, and a can of Coke. And he's just having a wow of a time. Must be one of his family matters. There he is. He's looking at us now. He must be listening to our call as well. Right on the 10-metre line, they are now brothers. They switch it back to the right. It comes away through the back line. Here's Zobin. He's offloaded it, but it's gone the other way. The Sharks pounce on the footy, and they come up with it. So they come off their own off their own goal line here. So we're rocking and rolling in NRL territory tonight. Here in the top end. Farmy conditions. Spectacular football. Three spectacular tries. Uh, what a what a competition. All thanks to the Chemist Warehouse, Mackers and ISC I sponsor. A plethora of sponsors. And if you want to get involved, hit us up here at the NRL NT. As they look down to go to the right. Look for the up and under. There it is. This ball might bounce between fullback and the winger. It does. And there's the chase. It was equal to the kick. Right on the 20-meter line here. As we see now, Nicky. 
He switches the play. Here's Jared. Was he Hill? Referee Benderberg says, I called Hill. So that's where we are now again through their line wire in, Nicky. Easy meters from the back. Now he's put the foot down. What a shot. One on one tackle. Had to be made, and it was. Sharks player injured there in the ruck. Play continues. And O'Connor. Back then out for Grant. Now, Kurnoff. He dances his way through. Oh, that will bring a penalty every day, every minute of the week. Right in front of the post. So there's a decision here to be made, guys. Do they go for two? Pressure. Looks like they're going to go for two. Right, Colberg. Yes, guys. So close to half time. Um, you're better off taking a two and get that eight-point lead. Wow. Great coaching. Crusher Cleal at his best. What about the run? Look, well, we're seeing a bit of a, um, a bit of a turn and in, in, uh, how the brothers usually play. They're normally a flamboyant team. They like to hit the edges and play a little bit off the cusp, but. Just going through the middle seems to be where it's working for them at the moment. There's some really strong carries. Caleb Dewey, you want Nicky, finding some really good space. Uh, Cairo, I'm at, another taking the line on again. And then you can see young Kernoth having showing some feet of the line. But what's working for them at the moment is just some really basic uh, go forward. Guys, if I'm at home right now listening or watching NRL.com, I'm absolutely in awe of our goal kicker in Nicky. What can you tell us about... Nicky. Uh, Apart he, from a fabulous hairstyle. He, he has got a fabulous <laughs> hairstyle. That's what he wants. He does That's do what, what he wants. wants. He's the Afro man. Yeah, uh, he's been around for a while, Caleb. He's, he's a junior. He born and bred in Territory. Actually went to Parramatta and had a trial there and actually successfully made their under 19 team. Uh, unfortunately, COVID sort of killed that dream and the end, they cut the season short and he had to come back to Darwin. But uh, since he's been playing back in Darwin, he's really gone from strength to strength and you know, he's still only young, and I think a move on the cards could be there at some point. Yeah, I'm sure that a lot of talent scouts watch our live and exclusive coverage. Plenty of talent right across the NT, isn't there, guys? And that's a tremendous, you know, congratulations to everybody involved in the NRL NT. Well, that is half time, folks, on the Macca scoreboard. What a first half of footy. Here at TRL Stadium, the brothers take us to the break, leading by 14 points to six. Wow. Stay with us, folks. We're going to be in for one heck of a second half right here on NRL.com. Here at Mackers, our team are always... Hey, can I get a cheeseburger meal, please? And nuggets. And fries. What's the word? On it. Like putting toys made from renewable or recycled materials in Happy Meals by 2023. On it. I'll have what she's having. Working on all customer packaging being made from renewable or recycled materials. On it. The whole kit and caboodle. Changing for the better? We're on it. At Macca's, we're putting toys made from renewable or recycled materials in Happy Meals by 2023. On it. I'll have what she's having. Changing for the better? We're on it. <laughs> Quick, Macca's. Here at Macca's, our team are always... Hey, can I get a cheeseburger meal, please? And nuggets. And fries. What's the word? <laughs> On it. Like putting toys made from renewable or recycled materials in Happy Meals by 2023. On it. I'll have what she's having. Working on all customer packaging being made from renewable or recycled materials. On it. The whole kit and caboodle. Changing for the better? We're on it. At Macca's, we're putting toys made from renewable or recycled materials in Happy Meals by 2023. On it. I'll have what she's having. Changing for the better? We're on it.
Predators and the Sharks, both coaches, officials, and the players to please make their way to the field. And if you want to be part of the NRL NT action as well, you can join as a volunteer apart from shopping at NRL.com as well. Just head on over to the website or contact the local NRL NT or your local teams to support them. Once again, we'd like to remind the officials, our coaches, and key players to please prepare to head out for the field. This is your second marker. And making their way back into the field are your Sharks. Let's give them a big round of applause. Exclusive coverage tonight from the top end. This is NRL TV on NRL.com with a big thanks to Chemist Warehouse and Maccas, along with ISC and our I sponsor, along with the Northern Territory Government that the NRL NT acknowledges for their tremendous support of the great game of rugby league. So 14 points to six. The brothers have gone bang, bang, bang. Three tries in the space of 10 minutes to take us into the into the second stanza. And Duncan, what do you think both coaches had to say at halftime? Um, look, I think uh, Coach Cleo, on the back of the momentum they just built, I reckon he would be pretty supportive and coming out with the same thing and controlling the ball. Um, but for Coach PD, he would have been pretty happy with that first 15 and then they sort of ended that half pretty ordinary, so I, I think he'd be trying to fine-tune the, the ball control going into this half and trying to rebuild that momentum that they had. So we're back underway. This is the first set of six of the second half here. Berg's always down amongst the thick of it. He's also beaten the sheds at half-time, mate. Eh? What, what did the other coach have to say? Yeah, look, uh, Crusher Cleal was really happy with the um, back end of that half for our brothers. He just said he wanted to keep the momentum going for the second half, control the ball, put the pressure on Sharks and kick, the, kick and play down that end of the field. Move on the touchline and Duncan McGilvery in the broadcast box tonight. That ball bouncing awkwardly. They cleaned up in the end. Right on the 30 here of, of the brothers. Now there's now the referee has just said go back and, and play the footy here. So a little bit bunched here coming off their own 
off their own 20. Grant playing it. Warren switches it. It's Cabillo. Did well there to try to get away from Burke, but Burke came back and knocked him square and all into the last turf here. That's the halfway line now. So 14 points to six on the McDonald scoreboard. The kick now is a good one. They've got good field territory here to work with, but the kick chase is absolutely sensational from Brothers, and they've hurt. Zigiaro here got a bit of a, a, whack, in the, a whack in the mouth <laughs> as he was coming off his own 20 metre line right in front of Umberg on the touchline. It looked like an elbow there, but I don't yeah. think the referee picked it up. So that's coming away from the Northern end in the first half of footy here, the, the Northern Sharks. Second place on the competition ladder, the Sharkies. Average 31 points this year so far over the last three games. They've only conceded 10. That's gone out the window by four here early on in the second half. Here's the kick. It's scooped up here. Good take there by the centre three quarter in Xavier. Now they spin it to the right. Laurie now. What can he do with the footy? Good tackle there by Hall. So around the grounds, thanks to I sponsor, and it is the Raiders 10, the Rabbitohs nil. So 10 nil. Thanks to around the grounds and back here. Brothers 14 to 6 over the Sharks, and they've got a penalty here. This will get them over the halfway line from the kick, from the touch finder. Kicking towards our, our broadcast end of the field. Good kick for touch. So that's where we are, right in the hot zone on the 40. Juggled, it go backwards. The referee said it did. Looking to pick up lost momentum here. And look at this defence over the top. Bringing a rupturous applause from the crowd downstairs. Travel from far and wide tonight to be here from right across the territory. And what a ball game. Stay with us here on NRL.com. Here's a last straight through the middle. The support coming on the left. Can they take them on? The dummy, the juggle, the put down, the try. Absolutely incredible. The referee is going to say try. Well, have you seen anything quite more remarkable than that? The juggle, the foot to the pedal, and the put down. What an absolute ripper. Mate, I was just trying to sneak in there and say it was a better defensive set from the Sharks, and then it was a, a really ordinary tackle there from the 11. And then, a, 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 yeah, quite an absurd um, juggle of the ball there to score a try. But, yeah, no, they let themselves down there towards the end of that set. Wow. Haven't we seen it all tonight? Let's get out of the touchline. Oh, guys, that looked like uh, Big Tobes, who, the front rower for um, Brothers, who made that break. When he went to pass it, it looked like it got knocked down by a Sharks play, and then he regathered and knocked straight back into his hands. So it was an unusual try. Well done by the big fellow. He'd be uh, off the nudie run. Wow. We've seen some funny tries. We've seen some awkward tries, but that was skill. And it's absolute best by the big man. Incredible. So here's the kick. Caleb Nicky. He know what's required. Can he achieve it? Can he convert? The incredible try from right in front. Yes, he can. Another two points on the McDonald scoreboard. 20 points to six in favour of Brothers, all thanks to Maccas. At Maccas, we're putting toys made from renewable or recycled materials in Happy Meals by 2023. On it. 
I'll have what she's having. Changing for the better? We're on it. I think their rotations. And welcome back here to TRL Stadium. 20 points to six. Saturday night football in the top end. The brothers in full control. So we know what the Sharks are, are able to do if they get good field territory. They've just been starved of the ball, Duncan. They have, mate. The Sharks, uh, you know, they're starting to make some errors now. They're getting a bit disheartened. They've only got two on the bench and the fatigue may be getting the better of them. But to see a turnover from, uh, from brothers, you may be getting a little bit too cocky with some of that play. Buckets gnaw them. <laughs> Well, they look good, don't they, when they, they shift the balls from left to right. They're, they're certainly corny, causing a little bit of carnage out on the edges. We're going to have the scrum here right in the middle of the field. Guys, just an injury report from the Sharks camp. They definitely have only two fresh reserves. Two players are out of the game. I can confirm one is Cameron Versteeg. I'm not sure of the other. Cameron Versteeg. Not out on the field. Great stuff there on the touchline, Merg. Merg Mick. Thalian on the touchline tonight for NRL.com. So just clicked onto our live stream here tonight on NRL.com. The brothers in control up by 14 points here. But the Sharks still a long way to go. In this clash, so it comes from Burke, but their handling has just let them down poorly so far in this clash. Just can't do it against the brothers. I'll make you pay. Here's Jared now. Steamrolling his way into Ziggy Aro. He's having a good game, Buckets Northern. Yeah. Except for his hands. <laughs> This is Amori playing the ball. Who wants to come onto it now? I just saw Bradley uh, Blanche Nevy coming off me. Can you see why he came off? I'm just waiting for a report there, Duncan. Get back to you shortly. Here's that kick. Which way will it which way will it bounce? Well in cricket terms, it would have done a googly. The crowd enjoying that moment. They are enjoying it here at TRL Stadium because the brothers, wow, everything's touching gold for them early on in the second half. It was a really tough call, that. It really the ball looked like it went back to me, but it uh, you know, seems to sum up the Sharks' night so far. They just, their ball control has just been terrible. You know, they, I know they've only got two on the bench, but that doesn't uh, give us a reason why they should be making so much turnover. See Snedden's come out. Again, Merg, can you give us some details? Yeah, um, the trainer's just told me that he was receiving some uh, a treatment on his neck, which was um, from an injury in the first half. But it looks like he's all right and he'll be preparing to go back on shortly. So back to Warren. Walking around, sniffing around for the ball runners. So this is where we are, right in the middle of the field. Was there a knock on there at dummy half? Referee didn't quite see it. Now he's seen the second one, though, as Laban was trying to crash his way over, but he's being called back. Referee tonight, Graham Vandenberg. One of the best. So there's a line bust here. Now there's a put down the left hand side of the field. The chasers are coming. Can they throw them over the sideline? That's the question. Keep an eye on the touch, Judge. Stays in the field of play. So they're up quickly here on the on the hooker here in, in Kennett. But Kennett does well. A little dynamite, isn't he? There's that gap unfolding again through the middle. Taken down here right on the 30. 
Now that ball was just spilled out, I think. Let's keep an eye on the referee. Yeah, it's just spilt out. Well, that's just tremendous pressure over the top from Brothers. They're in their face all day long, all night long. Yeah, they, were, they really look like they overcomplicated that a bit, Sharks. They had a good uh, break down the left edge there and then two long passes back to the middle. I'm not sure if it was on. Brothers really, really applied the pressure. And then obviously they've come up with a mistake. We see an injury down there to uh, Jonas, the other Nicky Nicky. Meg, what can you see? Yeah, he's just limping around a bit after making that tackle then in the last set. Appears to me to be walking towards the bench, so there might be a change here for Brothers. He, that is the other Nicky. Yeah. So it's like the Nicky one and the Nicky two. It's like the, the old bananas in the day. Yeah. Fantastic. How, how do you distinguish the Nickys? Any tips? Uh, the fullback's hair. <laughs> the one that does what he wants. Yeah. Now there's a few players down here as well. Yeah, they're dropping like flies at the moment, guys. Fatigue time again. And on our weather wall, we're still pushing 30 degrees. Yeah, 28.6 degrees still. Now we've got time off here. A bit of an injury concern down on the on last the thing, field. Last thing Sharks need at the moment is uh, another one off the bench. A pretty instrumental front row too. We've got there suffering an injury. Looks like it could be a, an ankle or a, a, or a knee. It's not looking good there. He's not moving, getting much away. That's the last thing the Sharks need. I think, uh, I think a little regroup and uh, a bit of a self-reflection on defensively where they're at and what's important, what's a priority to them in an attack. Certainly not throwing the ball around, but it definitely looks like we've got another uh, injury that's going to rule this player coming into this clash I'm pretty sure that the brothers you know they they wanted to you know they wanted to show everybody like a complete 80 minute performance and and so far they're they, they're on track to, to do that yeah, they are playing some good footy brothers at the moment uh, they you know it was a lot of pressure applied in the first 10 or 15 from the Sharks and they did hold their own uh, as I said previously, you know, a lot of that half was played in the um, down in the brothers' area, and you could see Coach uh, Cleal getting a little bit anxious. But as um, soon as the Sharks started getting a few injuries and turning over the ball, and the, the brothers started capitalising, and then obviously did the opposite by controlling the ball and then reapplied that pressure. And now they've crawled their way back into the game, and here they are. Guys, I can confirm uh, the other Nicky is getting his ankle strapped. He's rolled his ankle in the last set before coming off, and I think he may come back onto the field. They're doing a great job on the touchline tonight for Mackers and, and Chemist Warehouse, Merg. So this is where we are, right on the 20, looking to uh, stamp their authority once more in this clash. So back away for Warren. Kern off, great ball, here's a chance. Pollard, he offloads the football. And Jared, he crashes over for the Darwin brothers. Oh, they're on fire here on Saturday Rugby League. Ah, oh, they're rejoicing behind the goalpost. And they're also rejoicing in the grandstand. Why are they rejoicing? Because of this great ball. Look at this. The great footwork. The big step. The big don't argue. Wow. That's how you do it. It was actually quite an amazing try, to be honest. We saw two Sharks players actually go for an intercept. And then a really sloppy tackle at the back there from Sigiaro. It's all, all that was um, avoidable, I would say. I, I don't see any excuses to why that, that even was a try. I'm sure uh, Coach Paul Downs wouldn't be happy with that, to be honest. Well, I can say one thing, Dunk, from the sideline. It looked like it was a really good option um, by the young halfback, Kernoff. He's growing in stature as a halfback in uh, the Darwin comp. And I think um, this year he's, he's just going to grow and grow. And I, I really reckon the options that he had then, he just selected that perfectly. And um, Buckets Northern just grabbed it this time and um, held onto the ball. And finished off an easy try. Well done. 
Originally from Catherine Buckets, Norm. Norm. Is he? Yeah, low level. Caleb Nicky. If you want to have a face of NRL in two, I reckon we found our poster boy. Do what you want. Lining up for a kick. Outside Darwin Airport. I think that's where we've got to put the sign. He's where he usually is. Airport Hotel, that is. <laughs> so here he comes. Can he put the extra icing on the cake? 15 metres in from touch. That's his equation. Can he bring it back around? No. No change on the Macca's scoreboard. We're off to a break. Brothers lead by 20 points to six here at TRL Stadium in Darwin. Here at Macca's, our team are always... Hey, can I get a cheeseburger meal, please? And nuggets. And fries. What's the word? On it. Like putting toys and made from renewable and or recycled materials in Happy Meals by 2023. On it. I'll have what she's having. Working on all customer packaging being made from renewable or recycled materials. The whole kit and caboodle. Changing for the better, we're on it. And welcome back here, folks. 24 points to six. The brothers... Extending their points on the scoreboard. And the crowd captivated by what they've seen tonight as far as the tries go. And haven't we seen some beauties? Seen some big hits. The whole box and dice here in the NRL NT men's premiership competition. This is what it's all about. Promoting the game right across the NRL.com platform that we couldn't do it without our huge sponsors, the Chemist Warehouse, Macca's, ISC, I sponsor, and the support from the Northern Territory Government. There's the kick downfield. Nicely diffused there by, by Bailey, but he's come up with a bit of a knock here. The referee is called time off. Trainers have come on. A bit of concern here. Quite a bit of knee in the back there after he took that. would be to see, but I don't think we'll be going to a replay, but that's what it looked like. Hopefully he's OK. Coach Cleo looking very comfortable down there, Moo. Got one leg over the other. Rocking back and forth in his chair. Looks very comfortable. Old Crush is loving this. Brothers are up and about now, and they're a real confidence team, and you can start to see in the last 10 minutes they're exerting uh, their authority, Duncan, and I think we might see some razzle-dazzle football for the last 20 minutes of this game from Brothers. see another injury here, another person coming off. What are we down to? Well, guys, this is their last in fresh interchange that Sharks have got. I can confirm this. This looks like uh, maybe a concussion that's coming off here. And that leaves Sharks no fit players on the bench for the last 20 minutes of the game. So a good run through the middle here. Asking the questions... The, the brothers answering them as well. Here's another good run from Dummy Half. Look at this defence. They're here to play football tonight, aren't they? The Darwin brothers. The Sharks still 20 minutes away. Anything can happen and can happen in the game of rugby league. Haven't been down this end of the field at all. They've been starved of the football. In the second half, that's for sure. Is a chance now after the ball bouncing away. Which way is it going to go? Brothers here dancing across field here before they run there into a big hit over there by the toiler of the pack. And Peter Costello hitting with everything. Now the gaps are reappearing again through the middle. Davia over the halfway line. Ziggy well, he's been everywhere at the back tonight. And he has to. Here's Nicky. Good hands. Then Maury. Fingertip control, and he's put it down. But, wow, well, they're chanting their arm. They're having some fun here on Saturday night football, aren't they? Now, this will bring more 
and more spectators as it has over many years to rugby league up here in Darwin. You know, this is what we talk about. What about the facility, Duncan? It's absolutely incredible, isn't it, mate? It is incredible, mate. We're very, very lucky up here in the Territory to have such a fantastic facility, $25 million. Bought us a great deal. We're really lucky uh, to, to showcase our um, our sport on the highest at the highest level and yeah, what we can what we can show. But um, yeah, I mean our crowd is comfortable. Our players are, are safe. And our product is um, yeah, our product is growing. And of course, being enhanced right across Australia on NRL.com, giving everybody just a chance of seeing the the precinct up here. Of course. Plenty of rugby league fields out the back, across the road, next door. Just a, a rugby league paradise here as we see now the Sharks. Bit of razzle-dazzle football here. Not going far. Not going far past the 20 metre line. So back away for Burke. This time the second rower puts in a kick downfield. Borex is coming through. But Amori, he did well, didn't he? Read that play and comes down with the football 10 metres out from his own goal line. Now here's Nicky. Been one of their best tonight for the Darwin brothers. A good finisher. Just loves making easy metres from the back. The live wire, great chat from the back as well. Supports his players. The players give him a tremendous amount of football. And why not when you've got a, a, a striking player of his potential chiming in from, from downtown. Good shot there from Mitchell Burke. Just over 15 minutes remaining on the Macca scoreboard. We'll have a chance to go around the ground soon as well as that kick goes into touch about 40 metres out from the Sharks goal line. Of course, around the grounds, thanks to I sponsor in the men's premiership, the Raiders 16 over the over the Rabbitohs 6. Guys, I can confirm that uh, score from uh, South Darwin home ground. Uh, Raiders are about to kick off for the start of the second half, so that's a half-time score. And back here, of course, 24 points to 6. Favourite brothers who absolutely carved up the Rabbitohs last week by 62 points to nil. Knocking over Palmerston the week before. It went down to Litchfield 20-16 to 16 in the opening round four weeks ago. The kicks are good and for touch. Down the touch line. Right over there on our... 4x end of the field in favour of the right in front of the Northern Territory government sign. Doing great things in and around Territory, the sporting world, that's for sure. And Nine News Darwin, of course. Catch all the all the highlights throughout the week on uh, on Nine News. Nine, yeah, there we go. There's something a little bit different again tonight. We can add that to the highlights reel at full time. Paulie would be loving that shirt off. <laughs> Here he is again. Identification's easy when there's a bloke with enough half half naked chaps. What do you reckon? <laughs> He's gone backless. <laughs> he is, isn't he? Oh, the game. Don't you love rugby league? It just keeps on producing. You just never know what you're going to see. Staying in the field of play. They've done well. So down by 24 to 6. Sharks attacking. So Rowan. He can destroy a ruck, but he's been pretty quiet tonight. The brothers haven't allowed him much space, have they? Juggle did well. There's the kick to the in goal area. The chase. The. Well, the basketball push out the back by Nicky, and we'll see a goal line drop out. Oh, well, there you go. There's another moment. Did you pick up what happened then? One of his mates was just walking behind the fence. Nicky's pushed it over and said, oh, there's my cousin or whatever. And he's got up and shook his hand. He's shaking the bloke's hand. And he does what he wants, Nicky. How calm and casual is it? That is an unbelievable moment. Seriously. Yeah. That's just great stuff. Footy and Darwin. Love it. Taking it literally to the fans. We're, we're a 
tight knit community, this uh, rugby league community here in the top end. And, and uh, do what you want, Nicky. We'll, we'll live by name and by nature. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's brilliant to witness. NRL and T. In all its glory, premium. Premium facilities and premium hits like that. And the brothers crowd, quite a few in here tonight, loving it. Great tackle there from Colonel. Fantastic tackle from the half, putting him straight on his back. Right around the rib cage and whack. Thank you very much. But don't go, oh, I mean, a lot of people must come to the top end. Mate. We've got a wide audience tonight right across Australia, of course, and a lot of people probably haven't seen the precinct here. But, mate, just watching these pictures tonight and, and just being in and around the precinct over the last couple of days, it's just other states and well, other states back down south, they'd be absolutely jealous of what you guys have here tonight. And that's a testament to everybody up here. Absolutely, we're very lucky. The NT government's taken good care of us with this facility, and um, you know we try to make good use of it. And over the years, we've had various competitions, and uh, obviously our own comp. And uh, you know the future seems bright for us with, with the rugby league footprint here in the territory, and and this investment for the stadium just uh, reaffirms that rugby league is going to grow. And uh, hopefully one day we can uh, continue to build on this facility and actually host in our games. So here's a chance to the right. Just a matter of putting it together. Down the touchline. Here's Xavier. He's got support. Back to Grant. What can he do? He puts in the kick. He's chasing the football. Now Nicky. He puts it on the toe. He's got it back. He scores. There oh, is. wow. How incredible. There it is, gentlemen. Razzle Dazzle Brothers football. That it's best. There's your highlight for 2023. And there's that man who's going to be on the poster at Darwin time tomorrow night. Wow, Caleb Nicky, what can he do? Incredible performance. Look at this on the replay. He kicks it again. It came off the knee. He got it back. Bang. Thank you very much. He's having an absolute blind at night, Caleb Nicky. He should be so proud of his performance. He's, He's coming off now with an injury, guys, and replaced by the other Nicky. <laughs> <laughs> is that an injury or a strut? Is he limping or is he strutting off the field? Because I would be strutting off the field if I'd scored that try. It does appear to be an injury, Duncan. Um, a bit harsh. Don't tell me he's done his knee after he put in the kick off it. Oh, oh, keep an eye on him, but he's limping, isn't he? Oh, he's tough as Teg. He'll be right. Have a look at Coach Cleal. He's just sitting back. What have you done, son? What have you done? Get back on the field. Wow. He's a great mentor, Coach Cleal, for, uh, for, for Nicky. Yep. He's really done a great job with him over the years and, and helped him become the man that he is today. Another two points here on the McDonald's scoreboard. The brothers in full control inside 10 minutes. 30 points to six. We're off to a break. <laughs> Here at Macca's, our team are always... Hey, can I get a cheeseburger milk, please? And nuggets. And fries. What's the word? Yeah. On it. Like putting toys made from renewable or recycled materials in Happy Meals by 2023. On it. I'll have what she's happy. Working on all customer packaging being made from renewable or recycled materials. On it. The whole kit and caboodle. Changing for the better, we're on it. And welcome back, folks. 30 points to six. The brothers inside the last 10 minutes of Saturday 9.40. Thanks to the Chemist Warehouse here in the top end. And Duncan, I'm going to put this to you. If you were a producer at NRL.com, where do you start tonight producing the highlights reel? Mate, I wouldn't know where to start. It's really been a good uh, mixed bag of um, some uh, long-distance tries and some short stuff, some tries off kicks. It's It's been uh, aspirational, inspirational, some of these tries. It's, they should be really proud of themselves. It's actually been a, quite a good game. I know it's getting, uh, it's getting to be quite a high-scoring game, but it's actually been entertaining. Um, I think you'd probably start with a one at Brothers. Nicky, he would be a highlight reel in his own. Absolutely. Been outstanding tonight. What about the other Nicky? Uh, he's been OK. <laughs> oh, it's the Nicky show. And don't forget, folks, on our NRL 
NT Facebook page throughout the week. Log on. We're going to have some shed interview wraps as well. Video content. We're planning to go out to training throughout the week and catching up with the players and get to know the guys without the footy. What makes them tick? Make sure you check out us on Instagram. NRL TV, NRL NT Instagram and NRL NT Facebook. And our main site, of course, is www.nrlnt.com.au. Check it out. Let your friends know about NRL NT football. Spread the word. Share the love. And we'll be back again next week for a whole lot more. But this one's not over yet. Still 30 points to six, and we've still got eight minutes of football, and anything can happen in the try scoring department as we get out of the touchline to Burr. Yeah, I think uh, the game's over for um, young Nicky. He's, he's got his boots off. Um, I think Coach Crusher Cleal is giving him the rest of the night off, so well earned. Opportunity for the other Nicky to stand up. He's had quite a good game as well. Yeah. He's come back on. Uh, after getting his uh, ankle strapped there, Duncan. So just over seven minutes remaining as the Sharks. Well, they just haven't had the answers tonight. So this is the fifth and of the last. Will they go to the air? The wing is about to chase the football over there. Can he get it back? They attempt to come up with the footy. But the referee's given a penalty here to Brothers. He's been good for Sharks tonight, Cheryl. He's really um, just tried to keep him in the game. He probably could have got off the ground a bit higher there, but he did attempt a um, contest there for the high ball. Offside, apparently. Yeah. At least he didn't get sent off. And guys, don't forget, next week is the NRL NT Indigenous Round. Let's not forget that. Of course, it's a, a fantastic, a fantastic opportunity for the game to demonstrate our commitment to the Indigenous community and celebrate the unique relationship between Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander peoples and rugby league right throughout the Northern Territory. So next week, make sure you check out the NRL NT Indigenous Round. Junior Club Rugby League is back. Get back playing Unreal Footy with Unreal Mates. With club tackle or tag options available, there is an option for everyone. So just head along to rugbyleague.com to find your closest club. Strap on the boots and get involved. And show everybody what NT NRL is all about. In this part of the world, great pathways, of course, that filter right across our tremendous local clubs. A lot of talent scouts watching on from different states, identifying talent. And that's what live streaming can do. You might be tucked away in, in the eastern suburbs of Sydney or in Townsville or Cairns and log on and check out what's happening up here in the top end. And gee, you're not disappointed, are you? Tremendous foot in. Congratulations to all the clubs involved, all the volunteers that put their valuable time into producing the best that rugby league can deliver. Week in, week out. It's a lot of work. Of course, the players as well got work commitments, training. They travel far and wide to, to provide the spectacle for all of us at the ground and for you guys watching at home. Great game of rugby league. Keeps on producing. Always will. Always has. And this man at the back. In the arrow. Hasn't he been a, a shine tonight? As well. Along with his opposing fullback in, in Nicky. Absolutely brought the house down. What about that tackle? Picked him up and went bang. Oh. Right to the final whistle. It actually looked like it was going to be an effective play and, and until he met the defender. It was a very, very good tackle. Well done.
I'm Captain Obvious. <laughs> Even the referee's having a chuckle. Graham Venderberg, he's not believing what he's seeing. It's a pinch me moment, but I tell you what. So you mentioned he's one of our highly rated officials up here in the NRL and T for a number of years. Referee at the, the highest of levels and you know I just touched on there the volunteers. A big thank you to all the, the referees as well. You know, there's a, there's a, there is a shortage of referees across, I, th I think, in Australia, if my research is right. Not sure what it's like up here, Duncan, but, um, you know, if you're thinking of a career in rugby league, why not have a career with the whistle? Get involved, get in contact with your local club or your local administration or NRL and T and find out how about you can go about becoming a referee. It's a great career. Downtown it goes. Absolutely, mate. Uh, it is a whole different aspect of the game. And, if you, you know, if you've always been a player, then, then why not uh, participate from another angle? It's, it's another form of enjoying the game. Uh, I do a bit of refereeing myself. I'm not the greatest referee in the world, but I do enjoy it and I get a good <laughs> work out. And, uh, and at least I have a go, and I like other people I know. Merck. Down the sideline. Yeah, you know, that'd be great to referee if you really want to do it. Um, get involved. I'm not for it, but whatever. There's a course in June, Merg, if you'd like to come. I'll hold your seat. All right, all right. Put me down. Do some junior games. Sixes and sevens are crying out for referees on the stage. Quality. So they're looking to switch it here. From commentary to the far edge to the left. Taken down here. Just short of the halfway line. Little chip and chase here is on. Can he get it back? He does get it back. There's a chance to offload. The runaway try. The wrecking ball offloads it. Did it float forward? Referee has said play on. And now they've capitalised. And the brothers crowd, they're very, very happy because they've come down with the football. Razzle dazzle footy. Wow. It just keeps on keeping on, Duncan. Mate, that was incredibly entertaining. Yeah. It didn't have the outcome that uh, the Sharks wanted, but uh, what a gamble. A midfield chip and chase, support on his left side. Yeah, what a, what a gamble. I've got a feeling this one could skip, hop. Can he offload? No. Ah, it's all on display, that's for sure. Athleticism at its best here. Well, they've come from their own goal line to be tackled here on tackle number four, right on the 30. So again, a chance to the right to attack. They're lining up. Who wants to go after the football now? There's still a couple of more left in this set of six. They're giving up sharks. They're down to one on the bench now, but they're, they're really hanging in the fight. Oh, turn off. <laughs> the runaway train. Well, you put the knockers on him, Duncan. <laughs> he's gone straight to the gap, and he's gone in over in the corner. Well done to the young fella. He is just getting better as he goes. Gets hold of this young fella, isn't he? Oh, is that... Look at this. Identified. The try line. Well, it was easy, too. There was nobody going to stop him. And he just crashes over untouched. And there's our poster boy. He's back on. He's back on. Come back on for the kick for sure. Right in front of our major sponsor, Sign Forex. Just waiting for the kicking tee. Oh, isn't that a great picture? A little fella giving it to the fullback. And who knows, in 15, 16 years' time, that young fella might be pulling on the straps, pulling on the boots and, and playing out here in, in NRL, T, you know, NT. You just never know. Dreams can come true. It all starts at that young age. And look at that. He's just being nursed here by his other ball boy. This is what rugby league is all about. What a pitcher. Guys, I can tell you, 
Crusher Cleo, the coach, brothers, he's just very animated and very happy. He's still pointing and waving and telling players where to go and what to do. But he's up and about just like his team. From right on the touchline, the siren is gone. Shaking hands now with everyone. I'll just give a quick uh, shout out to our, our women's team who are about to go into the national championships next week. Uh, should be an interesting competition. Games against Queensland, New South Wales, WA, Victoria and South Australia. We're looking quite strong this year. We've brought in some really good contenders and uh, all local girls, all born and bred in the Territory and we're really excited and this team is also coached by the winning coach of this game, Leon Clear. What can't he do, Duncan? He is amazing. So, brothers, two wins from three so far. It's going to be three from four. Heading into round five of the competition next week. come from the Sharks. I don't think this is it for the Sharks. I, I definitely think that uh, over the next few weeks they'll start to rebuild and they'll you know, bring in some new blood. We've got plenty of good young kids there. I, I don't think this is it for Sharks. Well, they do have a lot of players out at the moment, Duncan, um, unavailable through injury and um, other work commitments. So they've still got some experience to come back in with Brent Crisp and a number of others. From the dying seconds of this clash on Saturday night football. We really hope that you've enjoyed what the players have dished up tonight, especially this guy that we've been absolutely raving on about from the back, Caleb Nicky. Picked up a try, and what a try it was. Well, for a moment, he was playing soccer or whatever he was. It was just an absolute freakish moment in the game tonight. Oh, put in the kick, got it back, and he was under the post. As we see now, they're going to try it again here. Their chase is coming. This time, Gorex gone straight through his bread basket on the 20. Now we're into the final stages here. A comprehensive performance tonight by Brothers. 36 points to 6. But it was that moment, I guess, wasn't it? 15, 20 minutes before half time. That's when they really found their really found their urge. And we all got a man of the match. Tell you what, could you go? Could, could you go past Nicky? I mean, he's been up there. Um, who else would there be? Oh, yeah, I, I think you'd be uh, tough going by Caleb Nicky. I think for me, he's had a he's had a fantastic game. He's been everywhere. He's been looking to get his nose in everything. Good carry, strong defence, supported the team really well. Merg down on the sideline. What have you got? Well, that's the end of the game. Thanks, Duncan. Thanks for crossing over, um, brothers. Easy winners in the end, and I uh, totally agree with you there with. Um, Outstanding performance by uh, Caleb Nicky. He has done what he's wanted at will. Um, and I think probably a close second behind him was the captain, Isaac Kernoff. I think he was instrumental in um, guiding the team around the park. And uh, to be honest, I think it was probably a little bit unlucky with injury sharks, but uh, they competed the best they could. But brothers tonight, just too good. Wow. Well, there you go, folks. We really hope that you enjoy this on NRL.com. Merg down on the touchline. Great job tonight, mate. We'll see you again soon. Thanks very much, guys. Have a great night. Duncan, time. as always. Thanks for having me. All right, folks. NRL.com, your place to be for all rugby league here in the top end. We'll do it again soon right here on NRL.com. It's good night from the Northern Territory. <laughs> Here at Mackers, our team are always... Hey, can I get a cheeseburger milk, please? And nuggets. And fries. What's the word? On it. Like putting toys made from renewable or recycled materials in Happy Meals by 2023. On it. I like what she's having. Working on all customer packaging being made from renewable or recycled materials. On it. The whole kit and caboodle. Caboodle. Changing for the better, we're on it. At Macca's, we're putting toys made from renewable or recycled materials in Happy Meals by 2023. On it. I'll have what she's having. Changing for the better, we're on it.